here we are. Uh, don't know what date it is, don't know what the date is. Uh, just outside the flat and we are uh, heading up north for our little trip, our little summer trip, June trip. So, uh, van life, oh, not my head. Lots of stuff here, but I'm sure our processes later on will tidy up. So, plan is head back through to Linlithgow, pick up a few bits and bobs, then head north and uh, smash some hills and drink lots of brews. That's basically it. That's the plan. Um, this is June, summer 2020. Um, pretty crazy year so far, so hopefully this trip isn't too crazy and just goes well. Um, as you see the face mask around my neck, it's still COVID times, so um, but it's safe enough to go up to the hills we think, so we're gonna go. Plan is uh, we've packed the van, van life here. Everything we need is here for a week. We know a lot of shops and bars and all that crap are not gonna be open, so it's gonna be a pretty self-sufficient week. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Here I am with my mate Scott. Drove up for London yesterday. How you doing? Pretty dedicated for a Highlands trip, so just departing Edinburgh now. Uh, the next task is to get our shop in. Uh, need to stock up and probably our week's worth of food. Need to be pretty self-sufficient this week. So, uh, yeah. Near the Drumochter Pass, just a little lay-by. Getting some food down us. Uh, just a quick bite to eat and we're really looking for a coffee. But there doesn't seem to be many services with uh, sort of uh, drive through coffees anywhere around here. But there is this, which is pretty decent. Uh, this is just stunning. And there's some snow, snow high up there. And it's, it's summer. Couple of hours done, couple more hours to go. I still need to do that food shop, but no rush. Here's the wagon. Hello! So we went to Inverness and got our supplies and uh, made our way northwest towards Ullapool, but about halfway we stopped, so it gives you an idea of roughly where we are. Um, here's the view for now. Nothing spectacular for now, but lock there. Water level's quite low because it's uh, obviously been very warm. And uh, we've just parked the van in this lay-by. Here we are. How we doing? Colder than expected. Got the drone up, doing some cinematic shots. And those mountains you see there, it's the Fanix. It's a range just south of the road. Uh, we're gonna go up and the plan is to uh, take some, here comes a drone. Plan is to take uh, sleeping bags and bevies, or we're not quite 100% sure what the plan is yet, but planning on bevying up there. Uh, what's for dinner, Scott? Well, we've got some uh, Uncle Ben's golden veg rice. Lovely. With some chicken tikka strips, which is probably going to be the same for the next three days. Nice. Sounds pretty good. Nothing too exciting, but practical and cheap. As long as it gets us up, up the hills. Give us the best night, that's if you ask. <laughs> Uh, so this is our first walk in a very long time uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and all that so uh, and we're not starting off lately we're gonna uh, head up for a pretty tough walk so um, done a few local walks over the last weeks obviously to keep going but this will be the first proper walk up a sort of Munro size hill so plan is to head up there now and bivy camp up there somewhere not sure where play that part by ear and then uh, get up really early in the morning and uh, hopefully get a good sunrise or something we'll see, don't know. Weather's looking just cloudy but we'll see what happens. And, and then in the morning get up, hopefully catch that golden hour and uh, smash out a lot of hills. Now the Fanic range up there is like nine Monroes I think, there's a lot of hills up there and there's a ridge joining most of them so we're hoping that we can tackle a lot tomorrow especially if we've camped up there and we already have the early start so that's the plan, stay tuned.
Well, we've made progress. Uh, left the van after getting food down us and getting our bags packed. And we're on our way up the track that goes up into the Bannox mountain range. Uh, we've got our sleeping stuff, bevy, bevy kit. So we're gonna find a place to sleep. This path leading us up, which is good. One hour in, a few k's done, uh, can you believe it? It's nearly 10 p.m., 10 o'clock at night right now. Uh, broad daylight, sunset is like in 15, 20 minutes or something. So this camping plan is a bit last minute, just playing it by ear really with the weather and the landscape. Obviously we, the main thing is finding a bivy spot. So in some, just a sheltered, sheltered area, so maybe some rocks or high ground around us, and that'll be us. Okay, we're at checkpoint one on our uh, walk. Uh, that's looking out to the west over there where the sun went down. North. And we're going to bivy here. And we're thinking that the sun should rise over there in the morning. So for bivving here, we've got a pretty good view for the sunrise, which is uh, ideal for some camera work and some drone work. Hello. Well, we've got our uh, camp set up. I'm in my sleeping bag on the ground with my row mat. Feeling, I mean, it's it's comfy. Don't know about temperature yet, but we'll see how the night goes. Uh, Scott's got his uh, sort of half half of his one man bivy hybrid tent up, and we're ready to sleep. And this is my view. There's my feet here, and I'm going to wake up to this view here. So pretty excited about that. Hopefully, the sun rises over in that direction. And we get a, a nice view in the morning, uh, but that will all depend on the cloud. So, uh, and the plan is to get up really early in the morning. Don't think you have much choice when you're bivying. You're quite exposed, so you naturally just get up in the morning and go. Uh, so we've got really light packs. Uh, don't have much food. Don't have a tent with us, obviously. So we're just going to get up really early and uh, probably a long day of walking hills. That is the plan. How you get? How you doing over there, Scott? Doing pretty well, mate. I'm just gonna get a couple of baby bells in, try to figure out what I'm having for a pillow. Mm -hmm. But uh, room with a view. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a very good morning. About four zero four forty-five, five a.m. in the morning, and. We did get a view, that's it there. That is to the sort of northeast. And the clouds broke away nicely during the night, letting us have this really nice sunrise in the morning. Look at that. Perfect blue sky. And this is us here in our camp. Morning, Scott. Morning. Pretty, uh, there was no wind, no rain during the night. Um, it was a lot colder than we expected. It was really cold actually. I mean, I was okay. If I didn't move in my bivy, if I just stayed still, I would eventually warm up. But if you toss and turn, you'd get cold. Um, but overall, I actually had a pretty good sleep. Um, and we're just about to send the drone up now to get some cinematic shots. And I've got the GoPro doing a little time lapse there, so. Uh, hopefully you'll see those round about now um, and yeah I think we're just going to sit in our bivy bivvies and uh, enjoy this enjoy this morning
we're uh, dragging out this morning in our bivvies. Um, it is an amazing campsite. Uh, it really is spectacular. Uh, just another quick view over there as towards the sunrise and just to show you how much more it's cleared since sort of half an hour or 45 minutes ago when our last video was. It's just absolutely stunning. Well, first checkpoint, summit of the first Munro, 949 metres it is, and I'll just give you a quick quick view of where we are. So this was a, the view we were presented with when we got to the top, that was kind of out of the view or on the ascent. Um, that's looking at number two, Scourmore, that's the highest, uh, 1110 metres, and then we're going to do like a anti-clockwise circuit, number three is over there, number four is centre of screen right now, and then we'll head back down to the van after that. Scott's just taking two minutes and getting his drone warmed up, and the lock down there, if you can see it, that's where the van is. So, good progress so far, we're pretty chuffed with the weather and the views. Uh, to the north, you can see Stack Polly and Coolmore over there, and, and Chalach Fisher Field Forest over there. So it's looking really nice. Blessed with this weather for sure. One, 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 zero meters. I think this is the highest peak in the range. The next highest being that one over there, but it's a little lower. Just to show you where we came from, number one is there, a lot lower actually. And here we are at number two, and then three and four are over there, and then to complete the circuit, back down. Um, in the distance. Uh, like I said earlier, you've got Stack Polly and Sullivan and Culmore to the north, uh, and Chalach to the west, Fisher Field range. Halfway around the circuit now, just working our way around the quarry. Uh, number one and two are behind, We're heading over to three and four. And it's just amazing walking around these uh, these ridges with Cory Lochins underneath, it really is spectacular. A lot of snow there as well, that's about six, six foot deep. Probably not gonna be gone for a few weeks as well. That's it, done for the day. Four summits. This is the cairn for number four. So I would highly recommend this route, um, the sort of four eastern fannics. You don't even have to camp out, you could probably do from the road around, do the four and back down in a day easily. Um, it's been quite a gentle pace, and we've done the four hills, and what time is it about? 11.30. 11.30 now, so that, I mean, that says it all. 
um, plenty scope to do a lot more if you wanted to do the other ones as well. There's three more to the west, so um, yeah. So plan is now is just a five minute break and then head back down the road. So. <laughs> down to ground level where I think, uh, what are we at, about 500 metres? Um, so we're about 500 metres, the van is round about 300 metres and it's about 5k away so it's going to be a very gentle descent back down to the van which is uh, good for the knees and the feet, we're happy about that, we're pretty much home and dry. Uh, just stopped at uh, one of the Lochins, Loch Garn is it? Gorn. Um, and we decided it was just too stunning not to uh, sit down and have a little, little break for five minutes. Got the uh, stove up and running on the van, getting some some uh, rolls made and uh, getting some brews on the go, which is epic. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, the walk today um, and yesterday in the bivy. We're looking forward to getting the uh, the, dr the drone uh, footage uh, downloaded and uh, getting some uh, clips put together for a video. So. Thank you. 